Hello friends, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Professor S.P. Singh from Faculty of Management Studies, Gurukul Kangri University, Haridwar. Today we are going to study Module 20 on Presentation of Results. After finishing this module, you shall be able to know the writing of results, list the pre-writing concern, understand the writing of draft, understand the tabular presentation of data, know the visual aspects of the report, design the typing of report, know the documentation and bibliography, and understand the oral presentation. A poor report presentation can destroy a study. A well presented study will influence the reader more than a study with more scientific quality but a weaker presentation. The presentation of results can be divided into two categories, written presentation and oral presentation. Writing the results. The report writing skills are especially valuable to the junior executive who aspires to rise in an organization. A well-written study frequently enhances career prospects. Pre-writing concerns. Before writing the report, the researcher should seek answers to such questions as to the purpose of the report, who is the reader, and the gap in the subject knowledge of the reader and the writer, and the ways the report will be used. Consideration should be given to the needs, temperament, and biases of the audience. However, in order to meet these needs and biases, facts should not be distorted, but should consider them while developing the presentation. The sentence outline expresses the essential thoughts connected with the specific topic. This approach leaves less development work for later writing other than elaboration and explanation to make improvements in readability. It enables the writer to determine what to include and how to say it. It is probably the best outlining style for the inexperienced researcher because it divides the writing job into two major components, what to say and how to say it. The bibliography. Long reports, particularly technical ones, require a bibliography. A bibliography documents the sources used by the writer. Although bibliographies may contain work used as a background or for further study, it is preferable to include only sources used for preparing the report. Style manuals such as publication manual of the American Psychological Association MLA handout for writers of research papers and Turabians, a manual for writers, provide guidelines on form, section, and alphabetical arrangement and annotation. Once the outline is complete, decisions can be made on the placement of graphics, tables, and charts matching to a particular section in the outline. It is useful to make decisions regarding the approximate graphics. Choices for reporting statistics have also to be made. The statistics summarize the evaluation of readability, grade level, and sentence structure. Readability. The sensitive writers consider the reading ability of their audience to achieve 
high readership to examine writing for difficulty level a standard readability indices are available these indices identify the writing difficulty level and specify the preferred reading level experts on readability measurement argue that the readability level should be appropriate for the audience and point out that score on gunning scale should be able to read that material material that scores much above 12 becomes difficult for public to read comfortably however such measures provide merely a rough estimate of the true readability of a report comprehensibility the writing objective makes difference in writing quality research writing aims to convey information of a precise nature without ambiguity multiple meanings and allusions the choice of right words conveys thoughts accurately clearly and efficiently the use of concepts and constructs must be accompanied with definitions either operational or descriptive words and sentences should be carefully organized and edited subordinate ideas mixed with major ideas make the report confusing to reader the readers want that the major ideas are sorted out from the secondary ideas finally there is the matter of pace pace is defined as the rate at which the printed page presents information to the reader various methods are used to adjust the pace of writing tone the writing is to be reviewed to ensure the tone is appropriate the reader can and should be referred to but researchers should avoid referring to themselves the application of you attitude conveys the message that it is written to the reader nor sent by the author the message to the reader sends sincerity personalization warmth and involvement on the part of the author to accomplish this remove negative phrasing and rewrite the thought positively do not change your recommendations do not change your commendations or your findings to make them positive instead review the phrasing final proof the draft report requires reading again after a little gap for the final editing read the report with a critical eye seek the answer to certain issues as to the smooth flow of writing for the needed transitions apparent organization the findings and conclusions accomplish the research objectives tabular presentation of the data majority of research studies involve some form of numerical data the presentation makes a better effect when data is presented in a tabular form the positive aspect of doing this is that statistical tables present the data in a concise and numerical form which makes quantitative analysis and comparisons easier tables formulated could be general tables following a statistical format for a particular kind of analysis as the tables are complex and detailed in nature they are best placed in appendix the other is simple summary tables containing restricted information yet critical to the report text table identification details the table must have a title 
and an identification number. The title of the table should be short. It only refers to the population or parameter being studied. The title should be precise, yet clearly describe the information provided. The numbering of tables is usually in a serial order and generally one makes use of Arabic numbers to identify them. Data arrays. The data is arranged in a table usually in an ascending manner either B in terms of time or according to sectors or categories of locations. Sometimes when the data is voluminous, it is recommended that one goes alphabetically. Sometimes there may be subcategories to the main categories. Then these have to be displayed under the sales data head after giving a tail command. Measurement unit. The unit in which the parameter or information is presented should be clearly mentioned. Spaces, leaders and rulings. For limited data, the table need not be divided using grid lines or rulings. Simple white spaces add to the clarity of information presented and processed. In case the number of parameters is too many and the data seems to be bulky to be simply separated by space, it is suggested to use vertical ruling. Horizontal lines separate the headings from the main data. When there are a number of subheadings, one may consider using leaders to assist the eye movement in absorbing and process the information. Data sources. Case the information documented and tabled is secondary in nature. Complete reference of the source must be cited after the footnote, if any. Special mention. When some figure or information is important and the reader is required to pay special attention to it, the number or figure can be bold or can be highlighted to increase focus. The data can also be presented through visual representation in the form of graphs. The visual representation of the findings in the form of lines or boxes and bars relative to a number of lines is easy to comprehend and interpret. The main role of graphics in a report is to support text to communicate report content, to emphasize key points, to make the report attractive, add interest, save time, increase credibility, and add variety and to create impact. There are computer programs like MS Excel and SPSS where the number data can be converted into graphical form. Number of graphs to be used. Each graphic should be chosen such that it serves to communicate a specific point of the report. There should not be any random use of graphics. There is no set rule to determine the number of graphics. However, plan what is required to be communicated effectively through graphics and include these graphics only. Where to use graphics in the text? The graphics should be placed where they are required. While placing the graphics, some points need to be considered including 
place them close to the related text if the graphic is large and is of full size place it on the page following the text a small graphic is placed appropriately graphics which are not discussed in the main report to support the discussion should be appended a reference to the graphic in the text should be made to invite the reader to refer it rules and borders of the graphics may be used to enhance presentation use color if color printer is available number graphics and title appropriately types of visual aids and graphics the common type of visual aids used in communicating data are bar charts bar charts are easy to draw and familiar to all and are good for making comparison while using bar charts ensure that the order of categories should be logical and match any tallies of the same data the width of all bars should be kept same start the vertical axis at zero if possible and if it is unavoidable to start at other than zero indicate this clearly by a break in each bar on in the vertical axis with a zigzag or wavy stroke across each end of the break stacked bar charts these charts show the total well it is difficult to compare heights of the section with stack bar charts the stacked bar charts should not be used if the total height has no meaning line diagram line and area bar charts are used when there is logical order of points the order of north south west and east could be changed giving a completely different pattern to the graph so it is not a good chart for the data pictogram a picture or symbol stands for a word or group of words this is a chart which uses symbols to represent values pie charts pie charts are the commonly used visual aids the disadvantage of pie chart is that it is not possible to show any category that has zero frequency one of the fundamental rules of using pie charts is not to include more than six elements the numbers more than this only show the main elements and include the others under a diverse heading if necessary break down the diverse category into a second pie graph for analysis the pie graph can be made more attractive by adding pattern to each other using colors and adding depth two variables diagram these diagrams are very important at the time when illustration of more than one variable is needed it is of great significance to determine which variable should be put on which axis for showing the comparison multiple bar charts are constructed always provide a gap between the bars for clarity area charts area charts illustrate how it stacked data like a stacked bar chart and so indicates total record data typing report for report typing a4 size of paper is recommended it is of a standard size and will present no difficulty with covers binding photocopy and dividing the sections make sure that each section of the report starts with a new paper indicates where capitals italics and underlining are required all heading sections and subsections are clearly indicated also indicate where any indentations 
of the text are required for the ease of reading. A clear system of identification is issued for sections, subsections, and paragraphs for the speed of references. Determine the number of copies required before going for photocopying. Documentation and bibliography. While writing the report, the researcher is likely to use the information which is not his own. The information developed secondary sources must be footnoted and listed in the bibliography. Acknowledge the referred materials when it is not a general knowledge. For acknowledging the sources, a standard reference system should be selected and followed. Oral presentation. Once the final draft of the research report is prepared and documented, the last stage is the sharing of the findings and research implications with the client or interested audience. This is usually oral presentation with the help of visual aids. It could be a detailed presentation for the team members or for an academic audience. However, for the client or the business audience, it should be brief and focused presentation and exceeding beyond 20 minutes with some time for interactive sessions. The researcher has to focus on key three aspects. Study background. This should be essentially 10 to 15 percent of the entire presentation and should explain the impetus behind the study as briefly and with suitable emphasis as possible. Study implications. In case this was agreed upon between the researcher and the client or was specified as a study objective by the researcher, this section would be the last section of the presentation. The link between what was found that what is suggested must be clear to the audience. The researcher may vary the discussion time between the earlier section and this as 45 percent each or 30 to 70 or 70 to 30 depending on the study objectives. That is more findings or more implications oriented Study findings. The major conclusions of the study need to be shared in simple words and with appropriate supportive visuals or material. The researcher must be able to demonstrate clearly the link between the study objectives and the findings. As supportive material, researcher can make use of handouts, slides, chalkboards and flip charts, video and audio tapes. Friends, in this module you have studied the writing of results, the pre-writing concern, the writing of draft, the tabular presentation of data, the visual aspects of report, design of the typing of report and the documentation and bibliography and the oral presentation. Thanks for visiting EPG Patshala.